Hello friends. Welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see what are bacteremia, septicemia, sepsis and septic shock. At first, we are going to see what are bacteremia. Bacteremia is a condition in which bacteria is present in the bloodstream. Circulation or otherwise we can say presence of bacteria in the blood. Transient bacteremia is a frequent event even in healthy individuals and may occur during chewing, vigorous brushing of teeth, straining at stools, etc. Neisseria meningitis present in the nasopharynx can reach the meninges by means of a transient bacteremia and thereby causes severe meningitis. Usually bacteremia occurs during ordinary activities, does not cause infections because only small number of bacteria present and bacteria are rapidly removed from the bloodstream by the immune system. But when immune response mechanisms fail, bacteremia become a bloodstream infection that can evolve into many clinical spectrums. We should remember one most important point here. That is, all infections are dependent on the host immune system. That is, if our immune system is strong, we won't get any infectious diseases. The common sources in hospitalized patients include the respiratory tract infection, untreated urinary tract infection, etc. Staphylococcus aureus is the most common cause of gram-positive associated bacteremia. Escherichia coli is the most common cause of gram-negative associated bacteremia. Symptoms Fever, chills, shivering are the most common symptoms of bacteremia. Treatment Bacteremia require urgent and appropriate antibiotics. Next, we are going to see what is septicemia. Septicemia is the condition caused by the invasion and multiplication of pathogenic microorganisms in the bloodstream. Causative organisms. Septicemia are usually caused by bacteria, but also can be caused by viruses or fungi. Abscess tooth, germs on medical equipments, kidney infection, pneumonia, urinary tract infection, skin ulcers or wounds are the most common sources of septicemia. Bacteria may produce toxic products while actively multiplying in the bloodstream. Because of this, septicemia are also called blood poisoning. Septicemia begin as localized infections that later become generalized. Septicemic infection range from chronic to acute. For example, streptococcal pharyngitis, staphylococcal abscess, bubonic plague may give rise to a septicemia. Anthrax, in which the number of bacilli may often exceed the number of erythrocytes in the blood. Symptoms, eye fever, chills, weakness, decreased urine output, acute respiratory distress syndrome, acute kidney injury. Treatment, antibiotic treatment or antiviral or antifungal medications. Septicemia must be treated quickly. If not, it can lead to sepsis and septic shock, which is often fatal. Let's see, what is sepsis? Sepsis is a potentially life-threatening condition that occurs when the body's response to an infection damages its own tissues. That is, sepsis occurs 
when our body has a strong immune response to the infections which leads to widespread inflammation throughout the body in severe cases it may lead to organ failure or septic shock let's see what is septic shock septic shock is a serious drop in blood pressure that can lead to severe organ problems